Hey, it's dinner time. Uh, tonight I am making pork chops, this Hawaiian bowl. It's pineapple and brown rice. I found this at the Dollar Tree. I don't know where it's picking it up. Um, so I thought I'd give that a try. It looks interesting. I got fine green beans, a pineapple that I've been meaning to cut up, and this I just found on my shelf. I only have the one packet, so they'll probably be pretty little, but um, that's fine. There's plenty of other things to eat. So I'm going to get started making this stuff and hopefully dinner will be done soon. Just starting with these, um, all it takes is half a cup of water. Super simple. Alright, I'm doing the green beans. I'm just going to put oil on them and then garlic, salt, pepper, and some rotisserie seasoning. Let's see how that works. Oh, this just goes in the microwave for 60 seconds. That's easy. I don't know how many of these I'm going to use. I've got four of them. Um, I guess 60 seconds. If I need more than two, I'll just make more. And I won't need this. waiting for the oven to heat up then the biscuits are going in the green beans will go in waiting on the oil to heat up for the pork chops and then once I get those going I'll cut up the pineapple and then when everything's almost done I'll do the rice because apparently it only takes 60 seconds so this is super quick in this My oven cooks a little really quick, um, so I set this for the lowest amount of time and they still got a little burnt on the bottom. I don't really care if they want to eat them, that's fine. If they don't, I don't care, but I'm sure the top still tastes good. So the first pork chop's done. I'm gonna start getting the kids' plates ready. They're starving, it's getting pretty late. Um, everything came together really quick except these pork chops. So I'll just pull out what I can and get them fed. All right, there's the meal on the pretty blue plate. Um, these green beans got a little dark, but they taste good. So I hope the kids like them. Um, then pork chops, the rice. I think it smells good, but it smells strange. So I'll let you know what the reviews are on that. And then the pineapple and the biscuit. So that's dinner. Um, like I said, the pork chops took a lot longer than I thought they would, but everything else came together really quick. So this wasn't a total fail. This is dinner tonight. I did uh, chicken burgers and then little chicken nugget things um, just real quick in the oven and then they're just eating the chips that we have in the house with it. All right, there's the little chicken burgers and then he picked some, I don't know what kind these are, cheddar chips? What kind are they? Cheddar and sour cream. Cheddar and sour cream. So we'll see if these are good or not. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm doing um, sausage sticks, eggs, and hash browns. So I've got the oven preheating. I've got a wash of potatoes, grate up the potatoes.
potatoes for hash browns and get the sausage sticks in. They're already cooked, they just need to be reheated. And then um, I've got two helpers today, so hopefully we can knock this out pretty quick. Got a whole pan of potatoes. I'm gonna put spray oil on, and that'll should help them get crispy. And then I'm just gonna put salt and pepper on. And if you ever watch Frugal Fit Mom, Christine always says potatoes can take a lot of salt, so. Don't be shy about it. They'll be fine. Bigger side of the pepper. Oop. I'm just gonna put these in the oven with the sausages and then let them cook and hopefully they'll crisp up and be delicious. Eggs are just about done. They cook up so nice in this pan. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Here's our completed dinner. We've got the eggs, the hash browns, the sausage. It's all ready to go. This is definitely a favorite in my house. Um, I usually do it with toast, but I was running low on bread, which is why I did the hash browns this time. So we'll see if they like that better or if it doesn't matter. This is the taco meat that I made ahead of time and threw in the freezer. I just pulled it out earlier to let it thaw and I'll heat it up in the microwave. Super quick and simple. Here's my husband's picture perfect work tacos. I ended up getting these little tiny street tacos that are like really tiny and um, he's got five of them in there and they're picture perfect. Oh, my orientation was wrong. There's my husband's perfect little work tacos with the little tiny taco shells that I got. They're actually really cute. I'm not making fun of anybody. <laughs> and, and there's the picture perfect tacos for my small son. So, this is the plan for dinner tonight. These are the rolls that I made up and froze, and I want to see how they turn out. So, I'm going to unwrap these, put them in this pan, and then um, let them rise for, I don't know. 20 minutes or whatever um, and see how those turn out and then I'm gonna make the potatoes that I did up last night I've got some gravy packets that I'm gonna mix in with the turkey drippings this turkey's been smelling amazing all day so let's get started on this stuff Been on low since like 2:30 last night. Oh, holy cow! It's just falling apart. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and strip it all down and throw the meat back in with the gravy, and then let that sit until we eat. So I'm using chicken gravy, that's all I got. I've got about three cups of liquid. I'll probably top it off with water because I have four packets of gravy and I just wanna use it up.
so this is what we got from the turkey. I got the gravy in there. It's on low. It's fairly hot. So I'll just let this sit until everything else is done and this will be delicious. These are the potatoes I cut up last night. Um, they should be all ready to go. I'm just gonna throw them in the oven and cook them. Very wet and oily. I'm gonna get a little crisper if you put them cut side down. This is what we have. I've got the cantaloupe from yesterday, the turkey, the potatoes that aren't quite soft yet because the kids are hungry and want to eat. I mean, they're soft. They're not crisp yet. Um, I put sour cream and Parmesan on there. The rolls are not working out like I wanted them to, I think, because I didn't let them thaw long enough. So I don't think that they're going to um, they're gonna cook like they're supposed to. But I'm still cooking them. We'll see how they turn out. But they're not part of dinner because they're not done yet. Guys, so, like Go ahead. The, guys, the cantaloupe is really good, good and soft. All right, there we go. These are the rolls. They're very dense. They didn't rise right because I think it's my fault because I didn't let them thaw before I tried to bake them because I was running out of time and I didn't plan very well. Um, and then I put them in the oven and I forgot about them, so they got a little, <laughs> they got a little hard, but they still taste good. So I will try them again where I make them and freeze them. Um, and hopefully they'll be better next time, but everything else was good. Everybody really liked this meal. So that's a win.